So what's up bosses? Hope everyone's having a fantastic start to the weekend. I'm getting ready to go and play golf this afternoon, which is why I've got a golf shirt on. Um, so before I do that, I thought I'd be a good time to shoot a quick video on my top five sexiest Francis. Now I'm sure many of you are like me and you consider yourself incredibly sexy anyway, but sometimes you do need a little bit of help with a nice smell to go along with it. So I, um, I enlisted the help of my wife and I've picked well, she's picked her top five sexiest fragrances that she likes on me. So I'm gonna back in just a second. Oh, welcome back. You're watching the Luxury Fragrance Boss channel. My name's Scott, of course I'm the Luxury Fragrance Boss. Now, as I said in the intro, I'm gonna do my top five sexiest fragrances. These have all been picked by my wife though. So um, these are the ones that she finds sexiest on me, makes uh, want to eat me, um, or just finds incredibly sexy. So there's a couple of gourmands in here, and there's a, so, there's a, a sort of nice mixy, uh, a nice mix of fragrances in here. So I do hope you enjoy my top five. So um, just before we crack on, um, if you are new to the channel, this is the first time watching one of my videos. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Otherwise, thank you for joining me for another top five, top uh, another top ten review, whatever. Um, make sure you hit that notification bell as well. That way, you never miss another one of my videos. So let's crack on. First of all, I'm going to kick it off with an honourable mention. Uh, one of my, one of my, well, obviously my favourite. Uh, one, one of my joint three top favourites now. Um, Straight to Heaven Extreme. This is just an honourable mention. That's my first honourable mention. Uh, this one here, obviously, it's incredibly, oh, it's incredibly sexy. I love it, and my wife absolutely loves it. It's, every time I put it on, um, she never seems to really remember what that one smells like. So every time I put it on, she's oh my god, what are you wearing? So um, yeah, I mean, straight to heaven, extreme. Unfortunately, it's no longer available. If you do manage to still find a bottle, it's well worth picking up. Otherwise, check out Tis, um, Tiziana Terenzi's Ursa, which is similar. It's a bit more nutmeg. It's not quite as boozy. I don't find as straight to heaven extreme, but it is a little bit similar, a nice sort of vibe about it. So in at number five, this is my one of my most recent fragrances, and one of the reasons I did get this one is because my wife absolutely loved it. When the first time I wore this one was when I was sampling it, I wanna go back maybe sort of six or seven months. I remember we went out for some drinks after she had had a house closing. Um, my wife's a realtor, uh, for those of you who don't know. So she had, a, had one of her fa first house closings in the industry, um, and we went out and I was actually wearing this one right here. I was wearing black mail from Kerosene. Now this is a really smoky one. Obviously my wife likes interlude, she requested that I wear it at my wedding, but this one's a little bit sweeter and she absolutely loved it. And it's just, the first thing she said to me, she said, I really, really like what you're wearing right now. If you wanna go ahead and go and buy that one, make sure you do it. So um, I definitely got to go ahead and she still loves this one. So when I got it um, only a few weeks ago, I don't know what the cats are up to, they're making some noise over in the background there. Um, so when I got that one a few weeks ago, yeah, she um, she loved it again. So um, in number five, we've got Black Melt from Kerosene. So let's crack on with number four. I'm gonna go to the first one from Clive Christian. This one is an absolutely delicious gourmand that makes my wife want to eat me. Actually, I've got three scents here that makes my wife want to eat me, and a couple that, as I said, she finds really, really sexy. The first one is E from Clive Christian. Um, this is their uh, gourmand oriental. This one's absolutely delicious. It smells like um, it smells like a boozy sort of bourbon, uh, rummy sort of um, caramel maple syrup that you put on top of an ice cream. It does make you smell. Absolutely delicious. Even I want to eat myself when I'm wearing this one. And the thing is, although that does sound really sweet, it's not that sickly. That's one thing that I find sometimes, I mean, obviously I'm living in a hotter climate, um, so sometimes I can find some gourmands do tend to get very sort of, um, sort of very, very sickly on me um, if, they, if they can be a little bit too much. Um, but this one, I have absolutely no problem with it. I love it, and as I said, my wife absolutely loved this one as well. And she just wants to eat me up straight away when I'm wearing this one. Um, so yeah, I mean, got E from Clive Christian in number three. Right, so in at number three, I had to cut off because the cats were playing with something, and I had to go and take it off them because they were making a lot of noise. They were playing, I think it was this little plastic thing here. It was off the top of one of my wife's razors. I, they like to go digging through the bins. Despite the fact that they've got so spoiled and got so many toys, they're still going to dig in through the bins to find the favourite things they love to play with. They've got all the toys in the world and Killian's favourite toys, one of those little plastic things out of Pizza Hut box. You know, the things that, the little three-legged things. Um, right, so anyway, let's get back to the top five. Um, so number three, I'm going to go to um, a house that I don't actually own anything from, but my wife found this one absolutely delicious. This one smells like uh, somebody sort of cooking sugar, you know, like you get that sort of, 
syrupy toffee kind of smell. Um, this one's Inchilo from Jeroboam, which is a really, really nice fragrance. It's not overwhelming performance, and I, I, I mean, it's got the longevity, but these, I mean, a lot of the Gourmands tend to be softer fragrances. Um, I mean, except for Clive Christian E and the Kerosene one, and a couple of the others that I'm gonna mention in a minute. Um, but most Gourmands tend to be a little bit softer. This is one of the ones that is on the softer side. Probably only looking at around two feet of projection, maybe three a, a push. Um, but yeah, I mean, this one, if you're looking for sort of something beautiful, sort of toffee-like, uh, something that smells like somebody burning sugar, something along those lines, I mean, it really is a nice smelling fragrance. Definitely one that will make somebody want to eat you. Um, so yeah, I mean, Jeroboam's Inchilo is my number three. So as we go into my number two, and I've still got a, um, I've still got honorable mention. It's hard for me to choose between these two because my wife absolutely loves them both. Um, but I'm gonna have to go for Honey Oud from Montel. Um, this is one that we do plan on buying very, very soon because I know we will both wear this. My wife absolutely loved this one when I was wearing it. Um, and this is another one that made her want to eat me as well, as well as the as well as my number one as well, which is coming up in just a second. Um, but yeah, this one here, I mean, it does exactly what it says on the bottle. It really does smell like a, a, a very sort of light, I'd say honey on toast, because it's something that's, it's, it's not kind of like that like syrupy honey that you'd smell from the jar, which is sort of overwhelmingly sweet. I mean, like when you drizzle it on toast and it sort of melts out a little bit and it sort of smells like a liquidy form of honey, if, if that makes any sense. I mean, obviously there's oud in there as well, otherwise it wouldn't be called honey oud. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if honey oud, amber and things like that, it's just absolutely stunning. So, I mean, Montel's honey oud, definitely a very, very sexy fragrance. I know there's quite a few out there, uh, sorry, quite a few of my subscribers out there actually own this one as well. Um, I mean, as well, don't forget to comment in the section below. I'd always love to hear your comments and also if you're enjoying the video, give me a thumbs up. Now my second honorable mention, my wife absolutely loves this one and this is one of my favorite fragrances. And I will be adding a full bottle of it to my collection very, very soon. Um, right now I've got a small bottle of it. I'm sure you know what I'm gonna say. It's Jump Up and Kiss Me Hedonistic. <laughs> if there's a cat whisker appears in the camera in a second, it's because Roxy, leave the camera alone please. Um, so jump up and kiss me, hedonistic from Clive Christian. This one is just an absolutely incredible tobacco fragrance, but it's so incredibly sexy. I mean, the reason the collection is called Addictive Arts is because it is supposed to be addictive. Um, they've used a new kind of technology to, um, to play around with the molecules and create um, some kind of new headspace and stuff like that. What are these two doing? They're running around my feet and got them on the desk. Um, so yeah, but yeah, they're, they're uh, pioneering this type of technology and I mean, it's definitely working. I mean, this is the only one I've, I've actually tried from the Addictive Arts Collection um, and it came in my gift set here, um, the Discovery set along with, uh, sorry, going off, uh, <laughs> Cypress, um, Sea Woody Leather and Citrus Wood. This is a great set to pick up as well um, because bearing in mind, this fragrance here off the top of my head is 575 pounds for a 75 ml bottle. So obviously it's a very, very expensive fragrance. It is worth it though, which is why I'm gonna go and buy myself a full bottle soon. Um, but I mean, this set here, I believe it's 199 pounds. You've got some absolutely, four incredible fragrances in there. So it's definitely worth picking up the set just to try this one out and just to have this one, as well as Sea Woody Leather as well, which is another one of my favorites from them. Um, but yeah, this one, just absolutely incredible and intoxicating tobacco fragrance. Um, there's um, hints of leather and things like that in there, but I mean, I wore this last night as well, and it's, it just blows my mind every time I do. So that's my second honorable mention. So let's get into my number one. My number one is one that my wife absolutely adores, and this is one that we picked up when my wife, I mean, really this could have been in, in my list as well, um, side effect. When my wife bought this back in, um, back in the Selfridges when we were back in London last year, last summer, uh, so, last year's summer. Um, sorry, the cats are running around, going wild today. Um, yeah, we got given a sample of this one and we both tried it, <laughs> silly face. Um, we both tried it and that's Initio's Rehab. This one is absolutely insane. If you're looking for sort of sexy tobacco honey fragrance, this is definitely it. I mean, it does smell like warm honey and it's just absolutely intoxicating. It's not, this is another one, it's a little bit softer. Side effect, if you're looking for a stronger one, side effect is definitely the way to go. If you're looking for something a bit softer, I'd say for a perfect date fragrance, um, this is gonna be it. I mean, this is one that just draws you in. 
and just pulls you in, you just don't want to stop smelling it. And that's the way my wife was with me when I first wore it. We went out to dinner with some friends and at the end of the night she said, oh my God, I just love what you're wearing. I just want to eat you. And I told her it's rehab. And I know she's worn it a couple of times as well. So, I mean, that was, that's my top five. Uh, I'd love to hear your top five as well. Let me know your most, um, well, m what makes you most edible really, or your sexiest fragrances. Um, or whatever your ladies' sexist fragrances are. So make sure you stick those in the comment section below. As I said, if you did like the video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Um, besides that, stay smelling fantastic. Um, I look forward to seeing you very soon in my next video. And thank you so much for watching.